I mean, the so-called, I always say the so-called war on terror, um, um, to me is total nonsense. I mean, what do you think? If you have a war on terror, who will win in the end? You, you, you destroy terror with war? Or, or what, what analysis is that? It is just on the semantic level, it is a no-brainer. It doesn't work. You can't, it is like the violence against violence, okay? Mm -hmm. You create a party and says, my party, the plan of my party is violence against violence to have, in the end, less violence. Yeah. And people go, hoorah, that's what we need, you know? They always give you the salute and go, can we give you money for a tank or a missile? Yeah. It yeah. seems like a great plan that you have. And this is so insane. I sometimes go like, do people believe the war on terror is something which makes sense? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Because terrorism, if you look at it, it is blowing up a ship, blowing up a car, blowing up a railway station, mm -hmm. okay? So it is violent and it is wrong, okay? I'm against terrorism. And what is war? War is violence, but on a much larger scale, okay? With a war, you can kill 10,000 or 100,000 people. With a terrorist attack, maximum 3,000 or 10,000, mm -hmm. you know, if it's a huge thing. Or usually it's 400 or 200, or in the old days, it was four or five people. Yeah. But that's terrorism. Yeah. So terrorism is killing primitively a few people. It's the weapon of the weak, okay? And war is killing many people with big, big guns. The weapon like of Hiroshima. the powerful. Yeah, weapon yeah. of the powerful. And the, one of the very profound and central insights of, of peace research is that you can't stop violence with violence. No. If you go and say, I don't like the world as it is, I'd like to have less wars, let's have a one big war to end them all. Yeah. Yeah. One, you know, just give me 10 Hiroshima yeah. and I wipe it all out and then we start anew. I've, I, you know, I meet people who say that. They say, I'm sick of all these wars and all these quarrels and all these fights. Why don't we just nuke, nuke them? them? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. And then I say, nuke them whom? Yeah. Your family or my family? Yeah, they exactly. say, not your family, not my family, but the others. Those. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I say, wait a moment, they're families too. Yeah. If you go and meet them, they have the same ideas like we have. They go like, you know, I want to fall in love and I want to make some money and maybe do something interesting yeah. and find out, you know, how it, a flower smells and exactly. climb a mountain exactly. and ride a bike. That's it's life. A, that's life. Yeah. That's life. Yeah. And, and, it's not, and it's normal, I think, in life that we have conflicts. But, and conflicts are something good because we grow on conflicts. It's not something bad. But if we use violence in a conflict, like if a, if a man and a, and a woman have a conflict and the man says, I disagree with you, bang, shoots her in the head, that's classical a no-go. We shouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah. We, if our children, you know, hit each other, what do we say? We say, don't, don't, why don't you stop? We don't say, well, that's a small stick. Why don't you take that one? It's bigger. Yeah, yeah. We, we always try to de-escalate. Yeah, to reduce it. And in international politics, we do the opposite. We start wars and we have media that report lies about it. And then we have people who go all crazy that this is a great war. Yeah. And I'm yeah. just amazed. So, no, I don't believe in the war on terrorism. I think it doesn't make sense.